It's a uh, Tuesday afternoon. It's lunchtime. I work from home, but I just uh, came up to get some lunch and I looked outside and it's 85 degrees out today. In New England here we say if you don't like the weather just wait a minute. It's hard to believe that 10 days ago it was snowing but um, it's 85 today and figured I would come out here real quick and give you a quick overview of our first year with the chickens and uh, the chicken coop that I built and some of the things that I realize I'm going to have to fix and some of the things that uh, I would probably do differently next time so brought the chickens some treats here go ahead and get them this stuff today I brought them a good mix of some cabbage and seeds and veggies well, I'm in here with my shoes on I didn't wear my chicken boots All right, so no particular order, we'll start with this. So we bought one of those um, water heaters that sits underneath the water container. You have right down there on the base, uh, plugs in. And I put a little drip loop in here, so in case water ran down in here, wouldn't get in the plug. Um, but that is not supposed to be directly uh, exposed to the elements. You can see that's that plate. Uh, you can get them on Amazon for about $40. They were just on sale for $19. So I bought an extra one. So we've got a spare for next year. Uh, I heard some people say that they burned out pretty quickly. They've got a thermostat in them. Uh, but I bought a really heavy duty extension cord here and uh, just kind of snaked it along the wall here. And it goes up across and into the outlet right there. So it's about a 30 footer, I think. So I bought the shortest, heaviest one that I could find and uh, it's worked great all winter. Uh, I built this little wooden shed here to uh, protect it from the elements and it's turned into a, uh, a perch. You can see it's kind of a mess. They love sitting up here. So I'm getting ready to pull this out of here and make some more room in here for the summer. So I was thinking I might build an extra little uh, perch or something for them to hang out out here uh, when they're outside. They love to get up and see up above the fence there. Uh, they're always looking out there at whatever's going on in the yard. Uh, this morning when I came out, I uh, turned all of this. It was really getting hard packed down, you can see here on the ground. So I turned it all with a pitchfork and there were worms and bugs everywhere and they just went absolutely crazy tearing that all up. Um, but for a quick overview of the coop here, um, I looked online and just kind of came up with some ideas. I sketched this out on a piece of paper. I estimated what I needed for the wood. I went to Home Depot. I bought the wood and then I just started building it. Um, here's a couple of pictures of sort of in process. I built it just like a shed. Uh, underneath there is all pressure treated and uh, that's pressure treated plywood. I if we can get a good shot of uh, just the plywood decking up there. I used a little turnbuckle uh, system to hold this plank on here. Uh, I didn't want to have to screw it into the, uh, to the doorway opening there. So I use that little turnbuckle to tighten it and it sits really tightly. This is what everybody has for their chickens and they never use it. They always just hop right up here. Uh, initially I had these little planks uh, nailed in all the way down and you can see how this started to get pried up with all the dirt packing in there. So I just pulled them all off and had to pull all the little nails out. I'll go ahead and pull this one off as well. Um, I'll probably leave it but could definitely get away with just sort of a little uh, plank sticking out here or um, something. You definitely don't need this big long ramp because they never use it. Um, the construction is just T111 
And then for these boards where the hinges are mounted, I used uh, actual pine. The rest of this is all that, I don't know, it's sort of a particle board type stuff and it was pre-painted uh, or pre-stained so I bought that just for ease of use but as you can see uh, it, where it's getting exposed to the elements it is starting to, to sort of pucker up and absorb water even though we painted it so that's all gonna have to get replaced I'll take a peek inside I used a, a cheap laminate flooring you can get a good shot of that uh, underneath so that makes it really easy to clean nothing sticks and you can just reach in here with a hoe and uh, pull all of the dirty bedding out the nesting boxes over here to the right I just built um, this is just thin thin plywood that I cut with a jigsaw and made these nesting boxes uh, the perches are actually two by fours that sit on the sides and I had read that the wider the perch like that when they sit, they actually cover their feet, helps keep their feet warmer during the winter. Uh, I made these little locks here so we could lock these in. They don't really, they're not really necessary. Uh, I haven't had any issues with that. Uh, one potential thing that I never considered and realizing it now, with the windows right here, they always sit right here in these first, they all cram in on these first rows of perches here. So all of their droppings and urine all goes right here. So this gets to be the, the wettest, muddiest place, which is right by the eggs. So they're always having to climb over all that stuff when they go into the nesting boxes. So uh, I think redesigning this, I may move the windows or add windows or I don't know. I don't know what I could do exactly to fix this, but building one again in the future, I would probably raise these nesting boxes up off the ground would certainly help. Uh, this piece I made will lift right out of here as well, so we can clean all that hay out really easily. So it's just basic 2x4 construction with um, T111 siding. There's a vent underneath here. I screwed this on for the winter so that you didn't have wind blowing all the way through there. Uh, you can see there's some screen up here, so there is decent airflow and there's vents in the back. Let's take a step outside. I used uh, just leftover roofing shingle, shingles from our uh, from our house, and I'm an amateur in all respects, so I did not do a professional job on the shingles here. Uh, if you look up top, you might be able to see there's a ridge because I didn't cut them properly. Installed this little hook here so that we can open this. We can open up the uh, the egg door. Reach down here and get the eggs. How many did we get today? Three, six, seven. We got eight today. We've been getting eight or nine every day. Uh, I used these vents on the back here that I uh, just got at Home Depot. And then on the soffits up here, I actually put some screen in here so that we didn't have bees and stuff going up in there. And I used just this strapping uh, to fill in that gap. Uh, I used a drip edge all the way around. Again, I'm not a professional, don't know exactly what I'm doing when I did all this, so I've got a little bit of weird overlap here for the front because there's no peak. Uh, it's just a sloped roof. So I had to put that on top so we didn't have water running down under the shingles, but uh, all in all, it's worked out very well for the first year. And other than this um, MDF or whatever you call it, that's starting to show water damage, uh, everything has held up really well. Uh, I think I probably, spent about six hundred dollars on the coop um, which is a lot of money but it's very well built much more much better constructed than anything we saw online or at tractor supply and most of the ones that i saw that were in the four five six hundred dollar range still were not big enough for ten birds so this one is uh, four by six with the little extension for the egg box and um, it's got about ten or twelve feet of perch space so everything I had read said they need about a foot of perch space per bird. And um, then this coop, or the, the pen actually, uh, is just constructed of pressure treated wood uh, with chicken wire on it. And it's about eight feet by 16 feet. So they got a decent amount of space and uh, they certainly seem happy and healthy. So that is the chicken coop tour. I'm uh, very excited to get some more. Um, not going to be able to pull that off until we move up to the cabin. I'm limited to 10 here 
uh, was on my permit, I suppose I could try to expand it, but um, it's good enough for now and I'm excited to move up to the cabin. So hope you guys are having a good week and uh, we're doing some canning this weekend. So check back in uh, for some canning activity on uh, the weekend. Have a great week. Bye.